The Power of Habit by Charles Duhigg Summary from 4-Minute Books Written by Nicholas Gouquet and read by Craig Trailer. One Sentence Summary The Power of Habit helps you understand why habits are at the core of everything you do, how you can change them, and what impact that will have on your life, your business and society. Favourite quote from the author The difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do. You can't possibly call yourself a habit junkie and not know about this book. It's the book about habits. Published in 2012 by Pulitzer Prize winner author Charles Duhigg, this gem has spent over 120 weeks on the various New York Times bestsellers lists. This book was sparked by Duhigg's fascination with the wit of a U.S. Army major in Kufa, Iraq, who nipped riots in the bud by persuading the small town's mayor to keep food vendors out of the large and growing gatherings when people couldn't fuel their anger and energy with kebabs, as they usually did. They just left. Tons of research and eight years later, Duhigg published a go-to book about habits. Here are your three must takeaways. One, habits work in three step loops cue, routine, and reward. Two, you can change your habits by substituting just one part of the loop, the routine. And three, willpower is the most important habit, and you can strengthen it over time with three things. Rage assigns the heck out of your habits? Let's go. Lesson one. Habits work in three-step loops. Q, routine, reward. Roughly 40% of what you do happens on autopilot. Habits are your brain's way of saving energy. So given that you spend around six of your 16 waking hours doing things that you're not aware of, it might be worth understanding what happens here. Duhigg discovered that at the root of all habits, like drinking your coffee every morning, lies a simple three-part loop. The cue is what triggers you to do the habit. For example, sitting down at your kitchen table to have breakfast every morning at 7am. The routine is the behaviour that you automatically engage in, which, for drinking coffee, might be to go over to the coffee maker, turn it on, and press the large cup button. Lastly, you receive a reward for completing the routine such as the rich smell of your coffee, its hearty taste and getting to watch the steam rise from the cup as it sits on your kitchen table in the sunlight. Your brain's activity only spikes twice during this loop. At the beginning, to figure out which habit to engage in, and at the end, when the link between cue and routine is reinforced. Wait, reinforced. Aha, that's how habits are built. And the stronger this link gets, the harder it becomes to change them, but you can still do it. Lesson 2. You can change your habits by substituting just one part of the loop, the routine. Naturally, the more often you reinforce a habit, the more embedded in your brain it gets. In the case of the coffee, you might crave it the second you sit down at your kitchen table. And when you can't have it that day, because the machine broke, you probably get very grumpy and buy one later at work. The trick to changing a habit, then, is to switch the routine and leave everything else intact. Duhigg calls this the golden rule. If you're trying to get off caffeine, the tweak is incredibly simple. Switch to decaf. You'll still have the entire experience from A to Z. But instead of pressing a button, you're now pouring hot water over decaf coffee powder. And voila, you won't miss caffeine for even a single day. Lesson 3. The most important habit is willpower, and you can strengthen it over time in three ways. Not all habits are created equal, and Duhigg says willpower is by far one of the most important ones, and it helps us do better in all aspects of life. Having been to the moon and back in terms of willpower research, I don't want to tell you to eat right, sleep enough and exercise regularly. Instead, 
Here are three uncommon ways in which you can grow your total willpower capacity over time. 1. Do something that requires a lot of discipline. For example, a tough wake-up regime or a strict diet will make you constantly practice daily gratification and thus giving you more willpower to exert throughout your day. 2. Plan ahead for worst-case scenarios. Even just thinking about your boss yelling at you before it even happens will help you not lose your cool when it does. And number three, preserve your autonomy. Yesterday, I learned that autonomy was a major part of living a passionate life. Today, I learned that if you take it away, your willpower also goes down the drain. When you're assigned tasks by someone else, which you must do, your willpower muscles tire more quickly. Focus on improving these important, big aspects of your life over minor hacks, and you'll develop great self-discipline in the long run. Hey, this is Nick, the founder of 4-Minute Books, and I want to thank you so much for watching our video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe to the channel for more. You can also visit us at 4minutebooks.com for hundreds of free book summaries, each of which will make you smarter in 4 minutes or less. Thanks again, and always keep learning.